peeps, what's up? We're back at it again with another video. Welcome or welcome back. In today's video, we have BK Beauty in the house. And if you're ready for today's video, keep on watching. Video, you already know the drill. I would love for you to be part of the Steffi Glam R Us fam. So go down below and click the little red button so you can become part of it. Alright, babe. So we got some BK Beauty going on in today's video. Shout out to BK Beauty and Pow for sending me these goodies. I have the new lipsticks, the liners, and this beautiful set of brushes in collaboration with Angie Hat and Flashy. I love the name. I'm gonna start with the Lux lipsticks and we have a five shade this is the packaging we get the shades right here in the front with the name they're $22 for each and they're made in Canada inside packaging is even prettier we get the BK Beauty logo on top the name of the bottom and it's like a hard plastic and it feels heavy duty it doesn't feel it is heavy duty I drop one of them and I almost have a titty attack and when I open it nothing happened to it so I was like Phew. Thank God. Packaging for all of them. So you do have to go to the bottom and pick the one that you want to pick. They're creamy, long lasting, and packed with pigment. Infused with apricot oil to moisturize your lips throughout the day. I'm obsessed with magnetic packaging and this one is actually really good. It's so satisfying to me to just sit here and play with the magnet. I love the fact that all five shades, they're everyday shades. That was a perfect way to start with lipsticks. We're getting all type of nudes here. Pinky nude, peachy nude, beigey nude. Something here for everybody and that's a good thing. We all like different type of nudes. I like more of a brown, beigey type of nude, but some people like more pinky nudes. Other people like peachy nudes. You get the point. I have a septin. It is a beige and nude pink. And look how much pigmentation they have. And of course, they're buildable. But I don't recommend you to apply more than two coats because then it gets too thick and you're going to feel uncomfortable. Inner Beauty, it is a neutral medium pink. Self Love is a pale pink. Kynet is a peachy nude. Oh, this one is pretty. And then we have Passion. It is a deep pink. This one is the darkest out of all of them. Totally different colors and undertones. I'm going to be bringing you all up in my grill so you can see how they look on the lips. Swatches is not the same thing as you see in them on the lips. I'm going to apply them by themselves, then the liners by themselves. And then after that, we're going to be doing some combinations with the lipsticks and liners. Mm. The good thing about this is that you don't even need a mirror to apply them. This one is the one that looks best on me, straight up. I mean, out of all of them, I like it the most. And I think it's the one that looks the best with the eye look that I have on right now. Love this formula. It's going to give you a shiny lip, but not a glossy lip. So if you don't like glosses, this is the way to go. They remind me a lot of this one's from Fenty. This is on the shade Bubble Rum. It's a brown. Nothing like this one from... BK Beauty, but let me swatch it right here. Emulation is very similar, but this one's from Fenty, they're more shiny. And the ones from BK Beauty, it's more like a semi matte. You can actually see it right there. You see how this one is way more shiny? And the ones from BK Beauty look more like a creamy, hydrating lipstick instead of a shiny lipstick. And then they also remind me of the Lip Chic from Chantacayo. I'm gonna be swatching these three shades. It's the nudes that I have. And I want to see if they look similar. This one is Lantana. 
we have tamboli and clover. The ones from BK Beauty get way more pigmentation than this one's from Chantacayo. And I didn't build them up. This is just one swipe. I actually think that not even if we build this up, we'll get to the pigmentation that the ones from BK Beauty have. No. When it comes to the formulation, it is similar. But this is more like a veil, like a tint slash wash of color for your lips. This one's from BK Beauty. They are lipstick lipsticks. I'm gonna be totally honest with you right now. I love this lip chicks from Chantacayo so damn much. But this is like $48, 50 something dollars if I'm not mistaken. And the ones from BK Beauty, they're only 22 and they got way more pigmentation. The packaging is very similar, but the one from BK Beauty, it's a little bit longer, but they're made of the same material. After swatching the ones from Chantacayo, this is an amazing, affordable option if you've been wanting to try the ones from Chantacayo. Like, I don't even want to tell you no more. Hey, spend money on this when you can spend way less on this one. And they're beautiful. They're also more shiny than this ones. So they each is own. You can also look at it like this. If you like more of a matte lipstick, then this is it for sure. But if you like something more shiny than the ones from Fenty or the one from Chantacayo, which this one is the more expensive one out of all three, will be your best bet. New lipsticks from BK Beauty, they're bomb and I love the formula for people with dry lips. My lips are dry right now and this is the formulation that I've been using a lot lately. This is the kind of lipstick that as soon as you apply it on your lips, you're gonna forget that you have dry lips and other people won't be able to notice that you have dry lips. Moving on to the Everlast Lip Liners, $12 for each and they're made in USA. Four shades, great pigmentation and they're supposed to glide like a dream. Now I'm matching with the lipsticks and I wish that they were, but that's just me. That's just what I prefer. I actually love when my liners match the shade of my lipsticks. But not everybody's like that. It is totally fine that the lipsticks don't match with the liners because you're supposed to use the liners to manipulate the shade of the lipsticks to make it a little bit darker, a little bit lighter, and stuff like that. I just feel that when I pick a lipstick, it's because that's the shade that I want to use. And I don't like when I apply liner and then the liner completely change the shade that I pick from the first place. Do you feel what I'm saying right now? I'm in love with the packaging. I love the fact that it's a roll up i don't mind about clickable but i do hate when i have to sharpen my liners it's like we in 2020 about to be 2022 boo boo please don't give me a liner that i have to sharpen most of the times they're always getting fucked up and then i like the shape of the tip because it's not too thick, it's not too tiny, it's like the perfect size for you to line your lips without being there, you know, for years. Let me swatch them, and this one is Alter Ego, which is a deep red. Look how creamy they are. Then we got Warm Spice, it is a warm peachy brown, and look at this. Yes see that creaminess because i recommend you when you line your lips don't just line them fill them up a little bit too so when the lipstick that you're wearing goes away you still have some type of liner in your lips also if you line them and you fill them up after fill them up like the side of the bully put the bottom right on the edge of your lip and then let the liner do the job you know that line that we be getting right on the middle of the lips hours after the lipstick comes off that is just so annoying if you do that it's gonna help you not be so noticeable and then we have sweet pea it is a rosy neutra pink look how pretty and then pink lady it is a coral pink see whatever you don't use you can just put away and you're good to go you ain't wasting any product So soft, so easy to apply on the lips. Warm Spice, so far, it's my favorite out of all of them. This is gonna go nice with a lot of lipsticks that I have in my collection. And it's so easy to apply. If all you wanna apply on your lips is liner and you don't want lipstick, super, super quick. Look at this. Ah, 
This color looks so nice on the lips. And then you apply a gloss on top. Yes. It looks nice, excuse my lips, again I told you they're super dry and right now they're asking for help. But look how nice they look if you are the type that you overline your lips, nice. And they're super beginning friendly, if you are not a pro yet with lining your lips or your struggle a little bit still, this baby, they line the lips for you. I'm gonna be applying Warm Spice with the Lipstick Kindness. I love the way those two look. Both of these two have like a brown, see? Under. And they look pretty. This is a Warm Spice look with Kindness and the liner is a bit darker than the lipstick. That's why I like them together. This is how Outer Eagle looks with passion. You see how they are similar shades, but the liner is giving my lips the finishing. Last but not least, we have this brush set. Seven brushes for $125, and it's in collaboration with the beautiful Angie. If you're not familiar with her, she's also a beauty content creator here on YouTube, and she focuses on mature skin everything the best for mature skin i love that about her channel i'm not gonna focus too much on the brushes because i am gonna be doing a dedicated video on them but let me just show you them really quick tell you what they're for how i like to use them and i'm gonna go by order i'm gonna start with the 501 it is a lit shutter and angie likes to use this for an all over brush she likes to lay her first shade her transition shade with this brush this is not my cup of tea when it comes to me applying my transition shade or like an all over brush. This is not the ambition that I have. I like something more like my 201. You guys know that this is my favorite BK Beauty brush. You guys see me using this brush, I think, in all my videos. They're two totally different brushes. This, the 201, is way more fluffy. And this one is tight right here and then it flops up a little bit at the top but not that much this is the perfect brush to lay shadow but like this you just swipe the shadow you can't really blend with this brush then we got the a502 it is a crease shutter and if you have hooded eyes this is gonna be the perfect blending brush it's pointing on the top so it's gonna go right on the crease i like this brush to apply the first shade that i want to apply on my crease that one shade that i want really intense because the brush is little so i know that one shade is gonna go right on my crease and then i like to use other brushes bigger and fluffier to blend the shade that I'm gonna apply with this brush. I need some type of gloss on these lips. They are so freaking dry. It's getting on my last nerve. And I think me doing all these lip swatches didn't help. And we got the A503 and it's a blender. And this, I can say that I really, really love. I apply my transition shade with it. I blend my brow bone with it. And hey, it's right there with my 201, which that's a big deal. My 03 blend my transition shade. Beautiful. Look how nice it blends. And because of the tip of it, it gets right here on the crease. Nice. The only difference about these two brushes is that the 201, it's bigger, not really bigger, it's a little fluffier a bit, but on top, it's more rounded and it goes out. This one, it's like tight right here on the ferro, it flows up a little bit, but it's pointy. So for the transition shade, it's gonna be way more precise than the 201. The A504 is a detail brush. It's another brush that is gonna be perfection if you have small hooded eyes or like saggy lids. It's a little bit smaller than the 504, the other brush that I told you that is good for hooded eyelids. See? This one, the 502, 
boom it's a little smaller and tinier than the Pfizer 2 this is the other brush that I told you was good for Huda eyes but this one the Pfizer 2 it's a little bit more fluffier with the Pfizer 4 I'm back in the black shadow right here modern V the brush is tiny skinny and it's back in the shadow right here nice and soft the A505, it is a shimmer brush, and we all need a brush like this in our collection. Facts. This type of brush is going to apply your shimmer really nice and neat, first of all, because of the shape of it. But at the same time, it's going to apply your shimmer, but it's going to blend it. So you're not going to have the harsh lines that sometimes we have it happened to me all the times because i like to use my shimmers wet so i always have to blend that edge with another brush or have to do a little bit of fixing here and there before my eye look is done with this brush you're going to avoid that it also pick up the shimmer with less mess less fallout than a regular brush want your shimmer to be a little bit more intense you can also wet this brush this is the brush that is mimicking the famous 101 foundation brush that every Everybody love and I think it was such a broad idea that she came out with the same brush but smaller and for concealer I actually used the 101 before to apply like a all over fast concealer situation and I liked it so having the same one for concealer is so satisfying a beautiful brush if you love this one then this is a must have for you I like the way it blend my concealer on my lid it goes right there on your under eye we have the A507 it is an angle blush brush and I love the way this type of brushes apply blush I also have a couple of them that they're like this with the same shape and I love it because they go in right there so if you're a beginner and you still don't know where to place your blush this is gonna help you so much like look in the perfect spot a brush like this will help you not fuck up or not to apply too much blush no no that look at that perfect i don't just like this for blush i also like this type of brushes for contour for like an all over bronzer because of the shape of it it is so angled it also goes like right there on your cheekbones beautiful brush like this does a lot this is a workhorse so if you go travel you bring this baby with you and it's gonna take you out of a lot of binds it's nice for like a natural nose contour with the tip of it you go like this for your hairline right here bronzer blush everything all right babe so i think i got everything covered lipsticks liners and brushes i really loved everything i can't say nothing bad about nothing but that my lips are looking like a clown i have like a pink tint right here outside of my lips i don't think you're gonna be able to see it but i see it and it's really getting on my last nerve that's from applying so many lipsticks and liners you know like even like if i was fixing it with my brush or whatever you could still see it very light oh <laughs> when an eye look like this i would definitely apply another shade of lipstick let me know in the comment section down below what shade is your favorite on the lipsticks the liners and what do you think about these brushes thank you again for another great video i love you all so damn much to the moon and back and if you're not subscribed to my channel yet i hope now you're considering subscribing and staying with me forever and ever so go down below and click the little red button and make sure your notification bell is on so youtube can notify you every time i upload new videos Mwah! see you on the next one